All right, we're going to... Uh, despicable. Moi. So, I've seen... The Lorax and the Mario movie. And most recently, I've... God, they can't fucking help themselves. Just like, what... What songs are we going to include in our film? That was like a huge issue with the Mario movie, right? Like that, it hasn't even been a second. <laughs> like just fucking, why does it have to be so obvious? It's not even like, I don't want people to say because it's for kids because it's not obvious for kids because kids don't know Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Kids don't know that song's not for kids because kids don't know it. They weren't alive. So why the when you have when you're able to use whatever songs you want, pre-existing or newly composed, you're paying licensing for the music anyway. You're probably better off using classical music <laughs> if you want to if you're trying to do it in a cost-effective way. There's a wide variety of emotions, even, that you could pick from. You don't even have to pick the most obvious classical music. There's a huge there's a huge library of untouched masterpieces that you could use to help your film. But instead, we're just doing the songs that have already been put in a billion other movies only because a billion other movies have put those songs in them. That's 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 what we're doing. So uh, what I was going to say is most recently Migration, which was not good, but probably their best film. I think I gave it a two or three at a ten. <laughs> Look, before you Twitter weirdos get mad, I'm just making content, okay? <laughs> this is obviously not for me, and I know that going into it. I know that going into it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm just sharing my experience. That's all I'm doing. Hello everybody. Rue, what's up? Wait a minute. <laughs> Makes me want to play rock band. Oh, so Gru has children. Three girls, one wife, something is missing. This guy. Oh, there's my boy. It's like Aquaman 2. True, true. I agree, Olivia. Thank you. I know you love your dada. Go up, say it. Dada. Dada. Of course he loves you. We just... Well, we're going to have to fight a claim. We're going to have to fight a copyright claim because this, this song is just going to play the whole time. He just doesn't show it on his face or with his body language. <laughs> right, Gru Jr.? Come on. Gru, I need a word. They speak made up language, but sometimes French is what I the impression I got by watching that. Uh, the short before migration, which I watched in theaters. <laughs> Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxim Rabal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, group. I'm kind of just zoning out. There's like there. This is this is such a nothing, like no experience trailer. Like there's there's nothing to be had from this. Nothing to be gained. As Guns N' Roses have said, where do we go? We have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor machine! Oh. I love this place! <laughs> oh, it's his butt. That's a butt. <laughs> That's a butts are funny. <laughs> there, Illuminations playlist 
what what do we call it? Obsession, uh, problem, d- disability. I don't know what the hell is wrong with them. I don't know why they. It's so. In the Mario movie, it was egregious, especially because it's Mario. The most important part of a heist is being aware of potential danger. I changed myself! This looks better animated than Migration was. The animation in Migration was like... There was not a lot of detail between the keyframes and a lot of it felt like really procedural. Procedural. There was like every character moved the exact same way except for like like a like a really long stork type character. But like literally everybody else in the movie was like doing this like whoa, 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 like exaggerated over animated <laughs> movements. Um, which is you know, that's that's an option for sure. It would be nice if it said something about the character. But when, when it's every character, it doesn't really say something about the character. It just kind of seems like you're trying to hide other imperfections in the animation. Or just kind of jingle keys, you know? I'm like, I feel like... Now, I read the 12 principles of animation. But... <laughs> If I were to make my own 12 principles of animation, I think my first principle would be that the animation should say something about the character, <laughs> right? Is that the way the, the, the differences in how characters move should say something about them, right? A lot of the best mo- animated movies of all time, that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um <laughs> wow. Ideally ideally the the way that characters are animated should say something about the character. Is that that's what I feel would be like one of the most important things for me personally in terms of animation is that not everything should be done in one particular way and if you are going to do it in a particular way that it should be for some sort of purpose. And I feel like that's been a pretty pretty consistent feeling I've had uh for films in general you know non-animated films that's been a lot of my gripes with uh any number of films or my praises you know like interesting unique choices like why are choices made that's something that filmmakers and critics and audience members even should be asking is like you see a choice Think about why the choice was made. Which is why, you know, we're going back to the Bowser thing. You know, when he starts having, like, the same type of animation movements as the birds from Migration. I I don't think it was saying anything about the character. Like, I don't think that was in the 12 principles of animation. To say that he had had to be moving so exaggeratedly jingling keys for baby audiences, you know, like that. And it was out of place and it felt weird because it was uh, inconsistent with his movements. Otherwise, he's supposed to be like a big, you know, threatening, commanding sort of character. And then all of a sudden he's moving pretty indistinguishably from the birds in Migration. In terms of how the how, how the keyframes operate and how the in betweens, you know, the the general flow of the movement. Well, no! what? <laughs> No. No. It's funny because they tried to kiss each other and he didn't want to. And it's funny when people do non-consensual sexual like, uh, acts on each other. I like a- attempted Beep. kids movies. That's fun. Or attempted Beep. That's very fun. I like it. It's fun. Ah! 
One thing that I had, there was a there was a sequence in migration where they're like flying through New York, and it was so fucking painfully obvious. They were doing this like, they were doing this one -er attempt to be like, oh, wow, look at this. But it was so fucking painfully obvious that all of the background images were just so fucking like poorly rendered or just not detailed in terms of the textures. I was like, oh, wow, this seems like a bad video game right now. But everything's moving fast enough that it's like, I guess it's just for kids, like kids won't notice sort of thing. And like adults who care about animation are either not supposed to notice or don't notice and get mad on Twitter when someone notices. I don't know. Yeah, this is weird. We'll see how, I'm, you know. This this one's not nearly as bad as migration. I'm mostly talking about migration. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Hey, hey, no, no. You know, I just, if I'm writing a kid's movie, I just think about, like, the social responsibility of, like, I don't know if I would have, if I'm writing a movie explicitly for kids and it's not, like, a movie for adults that maybe is still appropriate for kids, but, what like, this is explicitly targeting children. I don't know if I would do, like, microwave or kitchen appliance gags. Because, like, like, kids imitate everything, like... If there's a funny outcome to this scene, right? Like, oh, we're going to fill the entire microwave with popcorn kernels. And you show that the outcome is funny and migration mode like migration. fine. True, you're a boy. Thank you. I don't know. It just feels like, like I, I wouldn't want to be responsible for a child imitating something like that. Hey, hey, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, I haven't seen any of the other Despicable Me movies, and it looks like this is not one that I will check out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, congratulations on the billion dollars that you're going to make. Uh, Pixar is not even creating quality things anymore, so who cares? Hey, everybody. Olivia here. Thanks again for watching. It's February 2024, so let's go over the Patreon credits. My $5 and up patrons are... Speak of the Joker, Silver Wind, Toby White, Scott S, Joan of Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Coolest Shirt, George Salazar, www.openclassactions.com, Emil Blank, Judum the Kinslayer, T King, Saliv88, Electrica is an ordinary bad gamer. Yup, yup, yup. Caden Mack, the Super One player, Zachary Kane, Gilly Flower, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Let me just say, you guys are all awesome. I was caught off guard by how many people left kind comments after last month's credits. It makes me happy to see people being so accepting. You guys are all so, like, way too sweet. I'll admit I was a bit nervous at first about adding this avatar to videos, but it looks like I've mostly gotten positive feedback. Also, the post-credits talk in last month's video have given me a bit of an idea. Sometimes when Adam reacts to things, they're not long enough for mid-rolls and don't make as much revenue. So I think from now on I'll do like a bit of a Q&A segment after the credits. Just leave a question in the comments below and I'll pick a couple to answer in next month's credits. They'll be easier to find if my name is in the text somewhere. 
Also, if you have any fan art, you can send it to my email right here, and I'll feature it in the end credits, as long as it's safe for work and relevant to YMS highlights. Take care, everyone, and thank you all for your support.